What's up everybody and welcome back to Blue Jays today. Let's face it guys, in order for the Blue Jays to have success this year, they're going to need their players to step up in a big way. Not only do they need their current players to have great years, but they're going to need some breakout players to really fill out that Blue Jays lineup. And if you've been watching spring training and keeping an eye on who's coming up next for these Blue Jays, then you'll know that there are a couple players out there that are forcing their way onto this Blue Jays roster. And these players could be the breakouts that the Blue Jays desperately need to put them over the edge. Before we get into it guys, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to Blue Jays today if you enjoy Blue Jays news and content. First player I want to talk about is 7th overall ranked prospect Alan Roden. Fly ball, left center field, that might clear the bases, it's going to go all the way to the wall. Now, Alan Roden has kind of been described as this year's version of Davis Schneider, a guy that has put up such good minor league numbers that it would basically be stupid for the Blue Jays not to call up this guy at some point this year. Alan Roden is a left-handed outfield bat, and in the minor leagues last year, he hit 317 with an on-base percentage of 431, slugging of 495 with a total OPS of 890. In over 115 games, he paired that with 24 stolen bags, really showing off the wheels. Now, I think the most impressive thing about Alan Roden is that he has the ability to get on base at such a high rate. In a recent article written by Keegan Matheson, Alan Roden talks about getting walks and how he loves to get walks. It's free. It's the easiest thing for us to do. It's the only way I know how. It's the way I've always done it. It's always been reinforced to me in high school and college, and now that I'm here, it's a pretty valuable thing. Now, of course, Allen needs to prove it at a major league level, but if he can get on base at that high of a rate and also steal some bases, he profiles as a really good leadoff hitter, and that could be his potential with the Toronto Blue Jays maybe one day. Now, of course, if Allen keeps putting up these numbers, the Blue Jays are going to be forced to call him up at some point, maybe at the bottom part of the lineup to start, but if anybody struggles at that top part of the lineup, maybe if George isn't producing like he used to, it might not be a bad option to put a lefty who can get on base a lot at the top of the order. Another prospect who is kind of forcing his way onto the scene is Damiano Palmagiani. With the Blue Jays third base position seemingly up for grabs, Palmagiani is sneakily throwing his name into the mix. Funny enough, the Blue Jays actually drafted Palmagiani twice, once in high school and once after college. So obviously the Blue Jays like this guy. The 24 year old Canadian has been demonstrating the characteristics of a power hitting third baseman. And this could be the guy that the Blue Jays have been looking for. Our uniform this year, uh oh, hook, hook. Time for a quick shout out to Betway. Betway is the best place to make all of your sports bets on all of your favorite teams. Betway is also in collaboration with iGaming Ontario. Must be 19 years older to participate. And guys, please bet responsibly. Now, back to the content. Last year in AA and AAA, Palma Gianni hit 255 with an OPS of 842, while also slugging 24 homers in 128 games. And Palma Gianni has a chance to even build on top of those numbers this year in the minor leagues. And if he is having success in the minor yet again and the Blue Jays third base position is looking like a black hole of offensive production if you're not getting anything from IKF or Espinal then the Blue Jays might consider at some point this season calling up Damiano Palmagiani. overall guys I think the strategy here is to keep these two players in the minor leagues and see if they can continue to produce at a high level down there and if the Blue Jays are still lacking production with that lineup then you're most likely gonna see these guys coming up next for the Blue Jays. But folks, you let me know in the comments down below if there's any other prospects that could make an impact this year. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys, go Jays go.